Yo, 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 what's up? This is your boy M. Breezy coming at you, man, like I always do around this time. What it is, Cowboy Nation, what it is, what it is. As y'all already know, man, like I always say, man, the Dallas Cowboy stays in the news. Jerry Jones and America's team stays in the news. Every time this man opens his mouth to say anything, man, you know, the football world and all these uh, uh, sports talk shows and networks, man, they, they, uh, they tune in, man. They tune in and get their perspective on what about try to think about what Jerry Jones doing, try to uh, uh, figure out what he's saying and all that kind of stuff. But y'all know how it go, man. Y'all been a Cowboy fan for a long time like I have. Pretty much, man, you, you should be used to Jerry Jones by now. And uh, he had a, uh, uh, made a very another inter- interesting statement. Uh, I think it was it was at the Senior Bowl. And uh, another Cowboy insider, John Machola, uh, on his Twitter account, uh, posted it. I'm going to read to you guys what, 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 it, uh, what it says. Uh, Anybody who thinks I won't take a chance has misread the tea leaves. But I do think longer terms. And I'm real hesitant to bet it all for a year. There's a lot of things that can happen for that year. In essence, we're seeing a couple of teams, Eagles and Rams, that have had real success putting it all out there and paying for it later. Don't think that doesn't pop in my head and get my eye as long as far as doing it. And I know how to do that. It's part of what you put in that computer and what comes out. We'll see how it comes. But that's pretty impressive to have two teams in in the last two years empty the bucket and get to the Super Bowl. But if you miss, it's a long go. On the other hand, my general experience has been that if you will stay aggressive I'm talking whether it's on the field or off the field, but then picks your shots with risk taking. And I've spent a lot of time in that, and I've spent a lot of time in my life doing that. Would they cut me open? It would be all those scars, heart attacks, for all those risks I took and the years I spent paying for them. My point is, I don't know how to take risks. They are absolutely right. We have been in the middle for years. We have been in the middle here for a few years, but I like where we're at right now, more in the middle. But given the opportunity, if it would make some sense, I've definitely, I've definitely got risk taking in me. So there you have it. So Jerry Jones saying, I've been saying all this time that he, he has no interest in taking uh, chances in the uh, free agency. He don't want no. Basically, what he's saying is he wanna they wanna uh, go with their in-house players, their picks, their draft picks. They don't want no outside noise coming in. Basically, what they're saying, him and Stephen Jones, pretty much, I think it's Stephen Jones has influenced his father to not be aggressive in the free agency because in the past he had bitten him in the ass. Raw Williams. Deion Sanders, T.O. Jerry Jones, have, he, he hasn't had that much success, man, with doing it. So I think his father, his son, Stephen Jones, really convinced him to, to, to uh, stop being aggressive. And that has hurt the Dallas Cowboys. That has hurt us because it been a couple of times that we could get like a, a couple of guys in free agency, man, that would take us over that hump. But they won't do it. They won't do it. They want to take the cheap way out. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know who uh, made Stephen Jones a general manager or even an expert on football. Just because your daddy on a team, your dad is rich. Hey, your daddy don't even know that much about football. He's a businessman, and you are too. You're the, you're the COO. So you guys end up throwing your weight around. Every time you open your mouth, you get a reaction. But the reaction that the fans want. We want to win games in the playoff, and we want to go to a Super Bowl. We've been 27 years. You guys steady giving us all the excuses. All of the excuses. This is what Jerry Jones does. Every time Jerry Jones see that the fan base is riled up, he comes out here and makes a statement as to why he's doing what he's doing. To make it seem like he's the smart guy. To make it seem like he don't want to put the team in harm's way. The Eagles and the Rams. I think he said, said if you uh 
it'll come back to bite you. Well, it hasn't came came back to bite the Eagles. The Eagles are in the Super Bowl for the for the second time in five years. Five years. The round went all the way out. They got uh Odell Beckham and uh uh, uh, uh Von Miller. Von Miller. They went to the Super Bowl and won the Super Bowl. So I don't know what you're talking about. It's gonna come back and bat you in the ass. But if it do bat you in the ass, guess what? You got a Super Bowl out of it, man. It's been 27 years. It's been 27 years. And you still going around here. Every time somebody put a microphone in front of your face, you want to try to uh, uh, make a scene like that. You know what the hell you're doing. Try to convince the Dallas Cowboy fans that it's going to be all right next year. This, this, this is what the guy does, man. This is what he do. This is what he do. He, he do not like to face the fact that he's screwing around. He's he messing the team up. He's making bad decisions after decision. Then, he, like I say, he go hide. Then he come back. All of a sudden, he reappears. And give all these statements because he knows that the media is gonna take on, take heed to what he say. But um, he said the Eagles. He said the Eagles uh taking chances. Uh, back come back to bite you. What you put in that computer comes out. Okay, 2022 the Eagles first round pick Jordan Davis, Tyco from, from the Georgia Bulldogs. Number two pick Cam Jurgens, center from Nebraska. Third pick, Nicobe Dean, linebacker, Georgia. Keyron Johnson, linebacker, Kansas. These guys make making the uh on the team. These guys producing on the team, man. These guys are in the Super Bowl. These guys are making making plays on that field, man. And look, this coming up draft, 2023, they got a first round pick in the top 10. In the top 10. In the top 10. These guys took a whole rebuild within five years, and look where they at now. They got number ten pick in the draft, and they got another first round pick in the draft. Their own pick, probably he probably last pick or next to the last pick, depending on the outcome of the Super Bowl. They got second round pick, they got third round pick. Man, look at these. You can't say these guys uh, uh, going out on a limb and taking gambles. Man, that's what it takes sometimes, man, to win. You got to take a gamble. You got to go out there. It don't have to be no hell of a big splash. You won't make no splash. That's the thing about it. You won't take no splash, no, no, no splash out there. You won't take a chance. Stand in the middle. See, this is what they got to do. Jerry Jones wants the Cowboy to stay right here in the middle so they can be talking about, oh, the Cowboy would have did this, they would have been over the top. If the Cowboy would have made this move, the Cowboy would have been in the Super Bowl. See, Jerry Jones wants the, want the, the media to stay right there. He don't. This, this guy don't want to win, him or his son. Because that ego is, 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 is in his way from Jerry, for Jimmy Johnson. Man, let that go. Jimmy Johnson has moved on. You ruined it. You ruined it. You you ruined the franchise. There's no telling how many Super Bowls we could have, we could have won if we would have kept Jimmy Johnson as the coach. But your ego got in the way. You're too jealous about getting credit. I mean, you got you worth eight billion dollars. Your team is. How much credit do you want? Jimmy Jones. Uh, Jimmy Johnson names are not on that check. Your names are, are on all those checks that comes in from the Dallas Cowboys. Jimmy Johnson name is not on not one of those checks. And you still running around here. Oh. Hatred, jealous, jealous. You shook that man hand live on TV at the Hall of Fame game and said you're going to put that man in the ring on honor. That man is still not in the ring on. You're a liar, man. Stop, cut it out, Jerry John. Cut it out, man. You, you, you stop. You're too old. You're too old for this. you too old. i tell you one thing. If you want to know Super Bowl before you go, before you leave here, your mortality, the way you're going, you're going, you're going uh, empty handed. You're going empty handed, brother. All right, that's the Cowboys. We got, we got, uh, uh, the Cowboys have six selections in this t- uh, 2023 NFL draft. We got one pick in each round. We got one pick in each round. So, I guess we're going to try to, uh, build out the draft again because he don't, he don't like free agents. So, he's going he gonna to try to go through the draft, man, and build. He don't want to spend no money. So, and, uh, it's one, uh, it's one more, um, statement that came out of Stephen Jones' mouth. Jerry Jones and Steven said that they want Elliot, Zeke Elliott back with the team in 2023. Despite the seven year vet career lows in rushing attempts, rushing yards, yards per attempt, yards per game, and 100 yard games, Steven bizarrely went so far as to claim that he didn't see a drop off in the running back production this season. Oh my God. Man, you can't make this up, man. You can't make this up. You cannot make this up. This man said he did not see a drop off in Ezekiel Elliott. Man, come on, man. This is what I be saying. 
These two guys, Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones, man, they're uh, out here. They don't care about us fans, man. They don't. They don't care because they know we're not gonna do anything. They're gonna still sell those seats out. They're gonna sell that merchandise. And people gonna come to that game and buy all the alcohol and buy all the high price stuff inside the Cowboys st- shop inside the stadium. Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones knows that. That's why they don't care, man. These guys don't care. That's why they do what they do. Because the fans are not going to do anything. There's no consequences to what he do. None whatsoever. Because you got America's team. And it's sad, man. It's sad. And it's sad. But that's all I had to come on here and say, man. Um, if you're a Cowboy fan, man, you know, uh, keep your head up, man. Uh, we, we, we try to hope and pray that things going to get better when they're, they're, they're not. So uh, it just is what it is, man. And we got to deal with this stuff, man. We got to deal with the teams inside our division, man. Rebuilding, man. They rebuilding after rebuilding after rebuilding. I mean, Eagles been running. They've been running circles around the Dallas Cowboys, man. Jeffrey Lurie, Jeffrey Lure, the Eagles owner, man. He been running circles around Jerry Jones. You might, you might have more money, but he got a better team. He had a better ran organization, man. It, it is sad. And the Giants coming, and the Redskins coming too. If they get a quarterback, so I, I just hope, man, we uh get it together, man. And hope this year we go drop the quarterback because he did talk about. Uh, they asked a question about the quarterback uh, at the Senior Bowl, which, which quarterback stood out. And uh, Duke is from um, TCU. The quarterback stood out, man, from, D- from uh, TCU, the quarterback. He was a Heisman Trophy candidate. Uh, but we all, we all know Jerry Jones just blowing smoke, man. We know Jerry Jones, he loaded to go out here and throw out statements, stuff like that, man, just to try to calm the fan base down, man, because he knows that the fan base is riled up and he hears it. And, and because you can tell he hears it because he, he, you, you're making uh, statements about what the team, what the fans, what the fans are saying. So you hear what's going on, like you do every year, but you go out and do nothing though. Now after a couple more weeks, another month passed by, too bad everything gonna come down and make him be back to where he was in front of the camera with the dark shades on. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go out here. <laughs> Enough, man. Hit the subscribe button, man. Hit that like button and leave me a comment down below, man. And tell me what you guys think about the statement that Jerry Jones made that he's not, uh, uh, they're not thinking about free agency. They're not thinking about free agency. He's saying that, that the Cowboys are fine in the middle of the pack. Like I said, he want to be around 500, man. That's that's it. That's why you cannot beat teams that win winning record. You always beat teams under 500 because you right there in the middle. Subscribe, like, comment, man. It's your boy Breezy. Until the next time. Ah, uh-huh.